ताई यू नो लास्ट टाइम यू हैड एक्सप्लेन टू मी अबाउट डायरेक्ट एंड इनवर्स प्रोपोर्शन बाय गिविंग द एग्जांपल्स फ्रॉम आवर ट्रिप आई लाइक्ड इट सो मच आई टोल्ड इट टू माय स्कूल फ्रेंड्स आल्सो दे आल्सो लाइक्ड इट व्हाट आर वी गोइंग टू डू टुडे सो सही लास्ट टाइम वी लर्नड अबाउट डायरेक्ट एंड इनवर्स प्रोपोर्शन बट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व सम एग्जांपल्स सो दैट वी कैन यूज देम एंड डू सम प्रैक्टिस ओके ताई लेट अस यूज एग्जांपल्स वी सॉ प्रीवियसली ओके Let us begin with direct proportion. We have seen that if we increase the speed of walking, then the distance covered by us in the same time is more, and so distance covered and speed are in direct proportion. Yes, yes, I remember. Now see, if our walking speed is four kilometer per hour, then we'll walk four kilometers in an hour. If we double the walking speed, that is eight kilometers per hour. then we cover 8 kilometers in the same time of an hour the distance covered is also double than the previous one yes yes correct now you tell me okay if we are covering a distance of 2 kilometers by going with a definite speed then how much can we cover in the same time if the speed is tripled if the time taken is the same then the speed and distance are in direct proportion so if the speed is tripled then the distance covered will also be tripled by the previous speed we were covering a distance of 2 kilometers so 3 times the previous speed means 3 times 2 that is we will be able to cover 6 kilometers is it it tai correct sai now you have understood that since speed and distance are in direct proportion by how many times the speed will increase or decrease distance will also increase or decrease by those many times which means if the speed is doubled then the distance also doubles similarly if speed reduces by half then the distance also gets reduced by half isn't it yes you know sai we can say the same thing in another way since distance and speed change in similar way if we divide the distance covered by speed then the result will be constant even though we divide different distances covered by those different speeds the answer will be the same constant do you understand yes yes i understood it good now let us see a second example hmm that day you said that all the trees were well planted in neat rows didn't you if there are a given number of trees in a row then the rows and the total number of trees would be in direct proportion now tell me if there are 16 trees in two rows then how many trees would be there in three rows since the number of trees and the rows are in direct proportion the result of their division would be constant as we saw in the previous example if there are 16 trees in two rows then the value of constant would be number of trees is equal to 16 upon 2 equals to 8 so the number of trees would be 3 into 8 which is equal to 24 is that right correct very good Now you will be able to solve the examples of direct proportion in a similar way, isn't it? Yes, yes, certainly. Okay. Now let us solve some examples of inverse proportion. Okay. Which examples shall we take? Ha. Huh. Sai. All of you had taken a rickshaw to reach the bus stand to save time as you had got late when you were going for the trip, right? So when the speed increases, the time required for covering that distance is less. so we had seen that speed and time are in inverse proportion do you remember oh yes i remember okay now assume that our walking speed is 4 km per hour if we cover certain distance by this speed we require 2 hours now we'll find out the time required if we double the speed speed is the distance covered divided by the time taken for that distance if we double the speed that means the distance covered divided by the time taken will be double that means we'll cover double the distance in the same time or we'll require half the time required earlier for walking the same distance it means that if we have to cover a required distance and double the speed then the time taken becomes half similarly if we triple the speed then the time taken for covering the same distance becomes one third of the time taken earlier yes tai the time taken in school becomes half similarly if we triple the speed the same distance is covered in one third of the time taken previously 
correct tai if speed is doubled then time is halved if speed is tripled then the time taken is one third of the previous time this means that if speed is increasing then the time taken is proportionately decreasing is that right absolutely correct sai very good and you know if the speed becomes half then the time taken will be doubled as we are going slowly that means if the speed becomes less then by the same proportion time taken will increase oh tai i have understood sai you know we can talk about this in another way also the times that the speed increases those many times the time taken will decrease which means the result of speed and time multiplied would be constant did you understand yes yes i have understood it properly good now let us see a second example that day in the orchard you saw the trees all neatly planted at equal distance in one row didn't you if we decrease the distance between two trees then the number of trees in the row will increase so the distance between two trees and the number of trees in a row are in inverse proportion yes tai okay say suppose the distance between two trees is 4 meters and 15 trees can be planted in the row and fit in now if we decrease the distance between two trees from 4 to 3 meters then how many trees will fit in a row tell me when we decrease the distance between the trees the number of trees will increase Since these two are in inverse proportion the result of their multiplication will be constant as we saw in the last example when the distance between two trees is 4 meters 15 trees are able to fit in very good sai now you have understood how to solve the examples of inverse proportion by using multiplication so if the distance between two trees and the number of trees are multiplied we obtain distance between two trees multiplied by number of trees is equal to 4 into 15 is equal to 60 if the distance between two trees is 3 meters then 3 multiplied by number of trees is equal to 60 this means the number of trees in the rows would be 60 divided by 3 that is 20 great tai we reduce the distance between two trees only by 1 meter but we could fit in five more trees as compared to the previous number of trees friends now this example is for you suppose that we have some guavas hmm we have to distribute them among some boys so is there even or uneven proportion between the number of guavas and the boys who have received them if these guavas are distributed among six boys then each boy will get two guavas if we distribute these guavas amongst four boys then how many guavas will each boy get find out